What's up brew tubers? Uh, today I am making a brew of a different sort. This is uh, going to be kombucha. And here is my uh, what's called a scoby, um, which is like a mushroom kind of thing. This will actually grow on top of the batch. And there's my sugar and I got my water heating and I'll be using uh, black tea to make this. Just a real simple one. This is my first attempt ever at making kom kombucha, which is a uh, fermented tea, basically. And a SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. This one contains... Let me see what, uh, what it says here. Some Saccharomyces boulardii and Gluconbacter xylinus and Lactobacillus. So um, this is kind of an acidic, sour tasting beverage. I don't know if you've ever had commercially made kombucha, but uh, but I'm going to give it a shot making it at home. Okay, so I got my tea bags in there, and I am uh, I dissolved my sugar in there too. So I'm going to let that steep for about five minutes. Okay, my sugar is mixed, and my tea is steeped, and I'm chilling in the sink now. Got to get it down to room temp. Okay, I've got, got my uh, tea in the fermenter. Basically, I just made a gallon batch of sweet tea. And i um, going to dump this thing in there. And then I just got to uh, cover it loosely and let it sit for a couple weeks. And there it is. Just have the lid on there kind of partially screwed on just so it'll let the gas out. Uh, a lot of the instructions say to use cheesecloth or paper towels, but I think that'll do the trick. And see that thing in there? That's the SCOBY. And apparently another one of those should form. We'll see. I'll keep you updated.